Hi everybody, welcome to a new video from Sound for More. It's Leo speaking. Um, today I'm going to review and demo the fantastic sound from Waverly Tables from uh, Rob Jackson. So I always wanted to do a review of Waverly Tables and um, Rob has given me the opportunity to do that. And also he's going to give away a number of codes, which is fantastic as well. So do follow the um, instruction in the video description. And please also remember to subscribe to the channel because it will help with bringing other videos, tutorials, giveaway, etc, etc. Okay, so we are inside the AUM, um, my favorite host, although I do like Cubases as well. I have loaded uh, Waverly tables, as you can see, inside an audio channel, and I have just connected an external controller. My simple um, AKI Professional 25 uh, controller. So it's um, first thing, um, people have already asked me if this is the same as uh, mood units from Rob Jackson, and if you can exchange also sounds, the answer is no. Mood units is based on low CPU usage, low storage um, usage, etc. While um, Waverly Tables is actually uh, going to use quite a lot of storage uh, for um, um, for preset. I want to say quite a lot. I think the right amount to create those uh, um, pads, um, th those are atmospheric pads, which is what you want if you are if you want if you're buying or if you're going for Waverly tables. Um, so it is sixteen voice polyphony. It has uh, uh, fifty instruments. And which can also, um, which uh, you can see here the name of the instrument, you see the number here, it says 001. You can go to the next instrument, click on the next button, very simple user interface, previous one, click on the on prev, and then you can also move up and down like so through the percent. You notice there is the number of instruments, there is the name of the instrument, and then it says sustain here. So there are different categories um, for uh, um, instruments. Sustained means that they will sustain the sound as you hold a note. Then you have something like keyed, like so, keyed, which gives you more of a feeling of a type of piano sound um, in that direction. Not piano, but that kind of style, characteristics. And then you have the parcha, which is the full, really immerse experience. So you hold uh, um, uh, your keys and, uh, and you let uh, that instrument morph and, uh, you know, give you the full expression. And that is why also each instrument takes more space. You have uh, up here um, different states. So for the 50 instruments, you have also four different state. As you click on a different state, you see parameters around the interface are changing. So effectively, it's like multiplying 50 instruments by four, so you have two, 200 instruments. Um, beyond the 50 uh, instruments, you have then components. You see here it says components, okay? And the beauty of components is that you can create multiple instances of um, uh, diff of um, Waverly tables with uh, different components inside. You can experiment, creating your own sound, which I will also demonstrate. Here you have your amplitude, uh, your uh, simple ADSR. So you have your attack, release, and volume. So it's very simple. And as you change the control, it gives you a little help there. You have a pitch in semitones here, also fine tuning. And then you have attack, decay, and amount for filtering. And then you have an LFO uh, on the amplitude, which um, where you can set the rate and also the DAF. So in itself is actually a very simple user interface. So let's start with uh, um, listening to some of uh, uh, the sound, uh, some sustained, some keyed, and I'll probably focus more on uh, the departures type of sounds. And then I'm going to demonstrate to you how it works um, um, with other instruments and also how to use components. Okay, let's start with this first one. Mm -hmm. 
So as you can hear, uh, quite a full uh, sound, which is really nice. So let's move on and, and let's try other sustained uh, type of instrument. Okay, now let's try a different um, preset here for the parameters. Click on B, you see the attack has changed, so it will uh, take longer now as attack. Okay, let's change uh, another um, preset, preset number C. The attack is down, other parameters have changed. Let's try again. And now what I'm going to show you is the LFO. So let's increase the maximum of the LFO. And also let's go up the rate of maximum. As you can see, 0 0.48. Um, hurts so not that fast but still very nice okay very nice let's try um why no actually let's try this big square i just wanted to, for you to to get the the sound of the instrument because to me the, the instruments themselves are probably better than a, a lot of the others which you find of course if, if you're looking for pads to some extent i actually said to rob that these are better than what <laughs> i have in core gadget which says a lot And I also forget, forgot to say at the beginning that it is a rompler, so it uses samples. Uh, okay, that's um, important for you for you to know um, as well. So let's go through other again. Oh, I really like this one, uh, virtually analog. And also, what I like to say is that the samples are taken from twenty five instruments that Rob. Uh, uh, Rob used, I suppose, extensively and really loved. So, and so he thought to combine those and he created the Waverly tables. Very nice indeed. So let's try, for example, um, some keyed um, type of um, instrument. Here we go, echo chime. <laughs> so you're going to hear there is less body. That is why I mentioned at the beginning it tends as a characteristic of instrument to move towards more like a type of piano, although it is not a piano sound. Let's try and, and uh, let's try another one. Okay, so hopefully you have now the difference between sustained and keyed. So let's try some departures instead. And these are my favorite one, really, really nice. Okay. 
I hope you have uh, headphones because um, you have to hold uh, the cord on uh, the keyboard uh, f- for a little bit longer to start to hear all uh, the movements. Really, really nice. And you can use all these sounds in a lot of things. So really nice. Um, let's try something else, this phase analog. Okay, okay, let's try something else. This, oh, this one is again one of my favorites as well. Really, really nice. Um, big numbers, I love this one as well. The other thing as well I wanted to show you is that I'm just playing Waverly tables. I don't have anything else there, there is no effect. And sometimes when I play some of these uh, instruments, I think I have a reverb or something else from Bliss actually connected to the audio channel as an effect. But in reality, I don't. It's just that um, the, the instruments are so good, <laughs> which is which is really nice. So let's try in a couple of a couple of more as well. So why not? We are going towards uh, uh, fifty um, uh, as number of instrument. After that, we have components which I show I will show you as well. Fantastic. If you're looking for uh, atmospheric uh, pads, this is the application for you. Um, okay, so now let's go beyond uh, uh, instrument 15. Here we have components. So, and let me show you a little bit what you can do with components. So, um, let's click, let's duplicate the channel like so. Okay, let's ensure that we have. Uh, um, the our controller connected to both instances like so um and now let's uh, solo this first one let's choose uh, a component I like this one okay great so let's unsolo that and solo the uh, first audio channel Why not? Let's try this one because it's quite different. And um, components have been created so that you can mix them together for sound design purposes. So that's the beauty um, of using components. And of course you can use multiple instances, not only just two. 
uh, so there's no limit to that and use all those uh, 50 components and uh, create your own uh, preferred instrument. Now, what I wanted to show you is uh, how this um, has Waverly Table sound as well um, with uh, um, other instruments. So I've just created um, um, a little arrangement here. So I have a Hammerhead as a rhythm station with a little bit of reverb, but not too much, otherwise it doesn't sound that good. And then what I'm doing, um, I have three instances of Harp but 2, and which uh, are um, the first one driving uh, this instance of Synth Master 1 2, which has just be recently been released, really nice synth. And this one is a kind of ARP sound. And then you have a bass sound as well. And the third instance of Arpaggio is actually giving me an additional note against uh, Waverly Tables to give a little bit more body. So I have created two patterns, very simple, just for demonstration purposes inside, inside the Hammerhead. So I'm just going to play some chords so you have a bit of a taste of how Waverly Tables sounds with other instruments. I hope you like it. Okay, hopefully uh, you enjoyed the demonstration. And of course, um, uh, this is where, in my opinion, uh, Waverly Tables is great. You just, you can change other um, other instrument in your composition, sounds great. So let's try again a little bit more uh, um, this arrangement with different instruments from Waverly Tables.
Okay, I hope you enjoyed uh, the demonstration and short tutorial. It's not so much of a tutorial, it's very easy to use. Uh, it's a fantastic uh, um, synth. Yes, it's a rompler based on samples, but the instruments are so great that you can't really stop playing with them. Anyway, I'll see you at the next uh, video. Thank you. Bye.